Hey everyone, so I want to share with you some things that I have been doing to try and stay more focused, to try and be more organized, to be uh, a lot more um, in check with what it is I'm trying to do because this year has been crazy and it feels like a roller coaster of distractions. Whether it's at home, whether it's online, whether it's outside, it's crazy, right? So it's important to continually um, you know, find ways to help you just keep moving forward because with all the distractions and everything going on, it's really easy to just stop and like get distracted and get sucked into everything when you might just need to get some chores done at home or something. So hopefully these tips can help you if you're just kind of feeling all over the place and really just not getting done what you need to get done. So the first thing that is really helpful is a Pomodoro timer. Now, if you haven't heard of this, I didn't hear about this until a year ago, it is basically a great way to help create time blocks for you to work. And not like large time blocks, like I'm gonna work for an hour, and these are shorter time blocks like 25 minutes. So basically the idea is you set a timer for 25 minutes and you work for 25 minutes on whatever task it is that you need to work on. And then you get a five minute break and then you set another time block for 25 minutes, work, take a five minute break, and so on. There are apps and like websites you can use that have this stuff already programmed for you or you can use your phone um, or you can use an actual kitchen timer if you prefer. But it's a really great way to just sit and focus because sometimes when we don't have a uh, structured uh, time block, it can be really easy to get distracted and not focused um, on what it is you're trying to get done. Whereas if you have a shorter time block, it's a lot easier to, it, to focus and just feel like, okay, I only have 25 minutes. I can get 25 minutes of work done. So I highly encourage you to check that out if you are struggling to just really focus and get some stuff done. Another thing that's been really helpful that I thought was very um, rigid and a little too structured and now I'm like, it is the best thing ever, is actually scheduling out my day the night before. So I basically write out one hour time blocks and write what it is I want to focus on. and. I don't honestly follow this 100%, but it's really helpful for me to just look at that and see, okay, am I like on track to get done what I need to get done? What am I supposed to be doing now? Is this make sense for me? And so on. So it's really been helpful to just be able to look at my day and see what it is I have planned and do what I can to stay on track, but no, it's not set in stone. And it's been great because I think not having my day planned out was just a little too open-ended and allowed for too much uh, opportunity to get distracted and, and not get done what I need to get done. So if you're struggling to kind of just stay focused and, you know, get things done throughout the day, I highly encourage you, if you don't already do this, it's just kind of write out what your day is going to be hour by hour or every half hour if that helps and see how that works for you. The other thing that's been really helpful for me is doing a, like a weekly review. So on Sundays I'll look back at how my week went and think about okay what really works like where are my wins, what did I do well and then I write that out and then I then write out like a different column or a different section and write about what didn't go well, like what isn't working. And then I have another section where I write out, well, what am I gonna do about it? So it's a really great way to um, just reflect on how things are going and then give yourself the opportunity to like pivot and figure out, okay, this is what I'm gonna do instead. Or maybe realizing something that you thought was gonna be really important that you wanted to do maybe isn't that important maybe you can just like let that go so that's been really helpful plus it's really nice to just reflect on like where I'm doing really good and acknowledging that because it's super easy to focus on where you're not doing well and like the ways that you, you didn't measure up to whatever it is that you 
have in your head, right? So I highly encourage you to do that. I do that on Sundays and it's just, I kind of look forward to that and just like reflecting on the previous week. So those are some tips. Hopefully that'll help. I will link a blog post that I actually wrote about this and a few other tips that can hopefully help you just stay focused and keep moving forward. Let me know in the comments if you do any of these um, methods or um, use any of these tools and let me know what you do to kind of help stay focused and stay on track with the crazy times that we live in. And I will talk to you soon.